Hello, I hope you can hear me. Uh, that's me, Manny. I'm here for a little, very short stop at the Musikmesse Frankfurt, which used to be the world leader in trade shows. It used to be gigantic. It used to be the biggest thing out there. And it is no longer. Um, I'm using the brand new uh, Shure MB88 something on my iPhone because I literally didn't want to bring any other setup. So. Apparently my old friends from Joyo are here, as you can see in the background. I don't know why. I think they're the biggest thing in guitar to be here. I'm gonna run around the guitar hall, which is what matters to us, and I'm gonna look and see what we have. Let me turn the mic around for you. So here we go. I'm walking. We're recording. So here's Gitto, which is one of the last things I did working for Joyo, making sure that the uh, accessory uh, brand is separated from the amp brand, which makes total sense. And they actually have a cool new little pedal board right here with little clampies, which is kind of a cool idea. I have no idea how loud this is. Probably too loud. So, it's the last day. This is not electric guitar, this is something else. I don't know what that is. So, nothing, nothing, nothing. Guitars made out of stone. The sound of stone. I'm here with John Brown, I don't know where he is. John is somewhere. Tesla pickups. Now here's something I'm supposed to look at. Look at this. There's a Les Paul built into this. Look at this, it's built in. When you open it up, there's a Les Paul inside with two necks. It's a double neck Les Paul, as you can clearly see based on this gigantic display. Now, as far as I understand, is this is a digital guitar emulator. And I'm gonna go from Italy. Am I getting? Yeah. Yes, I'm yeah. getting a yeah from the man from the brand. Um, I've heard demos of this and what you would say to this is this is total bullshit it can't be done and the demos are very convincing so I am very intrigued about this digital guitar emulator apparently you play into it with whatever guitar and you teach it what guitar you have and then what comes out is a 59 Les Paul probably not exactly but maybe good enough so here's your guitar configurator and that is let me I have to switching the I have to switch the mic around. I'm working on it. Intriguing product. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. The demos I heard were definitely. I thought bullshit can't work. Ah, and the right. video, if you, the videos you made were actually that thing, they were pretty convincing. Yeah, we have already some videos on our website, so you can go and check it out. And there are also some A to B demonstrations. So with the original guitar and uh, with the simulation in the pedal. Because your guitar, once you make the learning procedure, which is the procedure that you have to, to, to do in order to teach the pedal how your guitar sounds like, you at this point you can even send the tone of your guitar as a target guitar. So you can find the difference if you want. And the differences are really small. There is a uh, similar feature in the new Bias FX2, which I played around with, where you teach your guitar, you teach it the pickups, and then it will emulate other guitars. And it is not, I would never expect this to actually come out with a, like a 59 Les Paul. I'm not gonna lie, it's not gonna give you a 59 Les Paul if I'm playing with a cheap Fender. But if what it does is give you a usable humbucker sound, I'm happy because that's what that's all I would expect. If it makes your guitar more flexible, it already has done its job. However accurate that is, 
I necessarily don't even care. If it makes your guitar more flexible, it means in a life situation you only have to take one or two guitars instead of ten. So um, the BIOS software does it okay, okay, I expect this thing to be better. Uh, I guess we'll see. I guess I'll have to check it out. Uh, Oh my god, this is all that's left of the electric guitar world. This was literally it. Most of the Chinese have already left. Rowan over there has already completely left their booth. Wow. This is so sad. So, so sad. Let's find John. So, it's really sad that I didn't even want to bring cameras because I got so many of them and I decided, eh, ah, phone's enough. And here's Mr. Brown Hello. getting food. Starving. That was a joke. Wait, wait, we have to turn this around, Mr. Brown. What was that? That's a joke. No, I mean, there was one brand I talked to, and Joyo, which I don't know why they were there. Yeah. That, was that was the once mighty Musikmesse. Yeah, it was pretty bad. Which once completely occupied this whole hall on two levels, and this whole hall over there. Um, wait, wait, I have, to, I have to go over here. Look at these two guys. Oh, Red Bull, uh, Red Bull for like Flügel. <laughs> My, my angle peeps, as they say. You know? I'm an angle for angle. Yeah. It's something. We still have to pick winners for that. Yeah. I sure. haven't even looked into that email thing. People sent me pictures of their cats. Okay. And pictures of their babies with a halo on. Great. Cool. I haven't cool. seen anyone dressed as an angle yet. Okay. And the Tierheim, well, by the way, thank you for that. The Tierheim received a lot of food. Okay, cool. So, uh, because of these guys, because they made really good pedals. Have you seen that video about the angle pedals? Pretty good. John Brown is reviewing them, apparently. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, this is a good show, huh? Yeah. Uh, re wow. Really? Wow. Yeah. Oh, the <laughs> That's the shit. Yeah. <laughs> the once proud mammoth Musikmesse Frankfurt is yeah. officially no more. And this concludes my video from Musikmesse Frankfurt. I really have no more to say than that. I'm going to hang out with the Engel guys and the brown man. Brownie, can I call you Brownie? Yeah, do you want to or cunt? <laughs> or, or cunt? <laughs> uh, I now need also burgers and fries. I didn't get fries, I got burgers. He just I'm, got a I'm burger. Starving. I've not eaten since I woke up, so. He has not eaten since he woke up. And I'm a fat cunt. You do know that this amazing Shure MV88 Plus will record anything you say. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> um, I, I don't get these. Gherkins? What's, what not? Gherkins. What's wrong with them? They it just makes everything taste like McDonald's. <laughs> yeah, but that's what makes it good. No, 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 no. Tomatoes can stay, though. This doesn't look particularly appetizing, does it? This is, what you're doing now is cooking. Oh, yeah, I am. <laughs> This just turned into with a my cooking channel. With, with my music mess of fingers. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, John Brown's pickle fingers. We, we, we shall see more of his pickle fingers in videos we're going to film on the weekend where he tries to make me a gentleman, which is going to fail miserably. <laughs> we, will, we, will, <laughs> we will find out. Um, for now, you can go away. Wave, nice angle people. Wave. Uh, animals at the end, that one too. <laughs> we have to say that. We animals at the end. Bye guys.
friend Get back to nice again Let us walk this land and make it alright Play this move I'll make Cause it's the better way Let's just do it and we'll both be fine I know that there's a chance To stab me in the back But we'll have none of that 